Hello everyone, it's Clem, in time to tell you about a godsend to low-end gamers, NVIDIA's Image Scaling, or NIS for short. If you're a self-declared optimizer such as myself, you may have heard about NVIDIA's release of NIS and its potential to bring lower-end cards back into viability. To keep this short and sweet, I'm not going to explain the details of it, but instead, let's see if this wonderful new technology will be able to make a difference within Escape from Tarkov, a well-renowned GPU hog. Firstly though, it is important to note that as a recording, this only affects NVIDIA GPUs and not integrated graphics or AMD cards. This may change in the near future though, so keep an eye out and I'll obviously keep an eye out too and I'll post any updates I see in the comments below. If you do have an NVIDIA GPU however, make sure that your drivers are fully updated before following the next steps. To update them, you can either go to NVIDIA GeForce Experience or the NVIDIA's website, but I'm assuming since you've already found this video, you know how to do that. But if you don't, I can always answer your questions in the comments. With that done, simply open up the NVIDIA control panel. Once you are at the Adjust Image Settings with Preview screen, make sure that you've checked the Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings option. And once that's checked, simply click Manage 3D Settings in the top left, or just hit Take Me There. Once you're here, all you have to do is click on image scaling and turn it on. Now that you've turned it on, there is a sharpening filter that also comes with the image upscaling that this provides. I keep mine at roughly 25% because I like my images a bit sharper, but I'd place yours between 10 and 25% and you can edit this at any time when you're playing to see what actually works for you. Also, since we are just starting to use this program, it would be wise to check the overlay indicator box so you know when it's active and working. Once all that's done, simply ensure you've hit apply in the bottom right. Obviously, I don't have it because I've already had it on. And then once you're done with that, you can either minimize or close this window and boot up Escape from Tarkov. If you see tiny blue text in the top left of your screen reading NIS, the software is now running, but not actively upscaling your image. Editor's note, you can't see it on this recording because you cannot capture NVIDIA's image scaling without using a capture card. So here's an image of what it should look like in the top left hand of your screen. There you go. To enable the upscaling, your game needs to be running at a resolution that's lower than native. So to change that, simply go down to your graphics options in your settings and change the screen resolution. You can pick any resolution you see within here, but do keep in mind that the lower the resolution is, the more grainy or blurry the image is going to look. You should also keep in mind that you should stick to whatever aspect ratio your native monitor is. I like this the most because I tested other resolutions and it didn't really feel as comfortable or natural than a 16 by 9 resolution. 16 by 9 is my native resolution or my native aspect ratio along with 1920 by 1080 being my native resolution. So personally for this test, I'm going to choose 1600 by 1900. But you can choose any value that's lower or higher based on the needs of your graphics card and whatever you're comfortable with. Once you choose that, as you can see my screen flash for a moment, and you might be able to see that the blue text in the top left has now turned green, indicating that the upscaling is now taking effect. Now it's active and you're done. The game is now being officially upscaled to your native resolution. It may look a little bit more blurry as you might be able to see in the recording, but also keep in mind that you will not be able to see Nvidia's upscaling effect on recording without a capture card. So this, pro this image that I'm seeing probably doesn't look the same as what you're seeing, but that's not the point. The point is for you guys to make these tests yourselves and see if any of these settings actually help you out. As far as I go though, I'm about to hop into an offline raid and see the effects of each one of these resolutions, uh, 16 by 9 resolutions anyway. Let's test it. So as you can see, I officially chose a spot in the wonderful site of Reserve to do my testing. I have decided to aim specifically straight towards that, uh, what is that over there? Air conditioner? <laughs> yeah. I've decided to specifically aim towards that so I have the same plane of view for every single image upscale that I'm going to do, every single resolution switch I'm going to do rather. So as you can see at the top, I'm using about 60 to 65% of my GPU. Uh, CPU figures are obviously not affected using this setting. And also my CPU, uh, I will list the specs on screen before I actually do these uh, tests. But so you know, the CPU is obviously a bit higher than normal because I'm recording using OBS. Wow. 
while I'm doing this. So at a native 1080p using my GTX 1066 gigabyte, we're using about 65% of my GPU. Now I'm gonna go back into my graphics settings and I'm gonna go down to the next resolution, which would be 1600 by 900. Going back into it, there's an obvious decrease and um, unexpected CPU decrease as well. That's pretty unexpected. 10% decrease, almost, almost dipping into the 40s. That's pretty incredible. Image does look a little bit more grainy as you might be able to see. But this isn't too bad. This is definitely playable. And for you guys who are just barely not running at 60 FPS, simply changing this setting to a slightly lower resolution, you can play the game. It's a wonderful new addition that NVIDIA's added, and I cannot wait for you guys to experiment with this and see how much of a boost you guys can get on your systems. Just to experiment with this, I'm gonna go to the lowest resolution that I can, that's 16 by nine, and see how much of a boost I can get. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna bring this up a little bit. Uh, 1280 by 720, will that stretch properly? Okay, there we go. That stretch properly, we're at 720p, upscaling to 1080p now. Let's see the performance here. That's pretty freaking good. That's a 20% decrease in my GPU usage, 20 to 25% GPU decrease. That's amazing. And my CPU usage has also gone down a little bit too, obviously not as much, but that's, that's incredible. And this is probably playable for some people if you know, you don't mind seeing just blur past 100 meters. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this. And I'm really excited to bring this to you. If you guys have any questions about this technology or about Tarkov optimization in general, I'm your guy. Ask them in the comments below. And if you did enjoy, make sure to hit the subscribe and like button. Y'all already know. And for now, I'm going to clock out. Later.